Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we'll be checking out the brand new lock screen, notification, and control centers in iOS 10. So right off the bat, this looks basically like the stock iOS home screen, but if you look a little bit closer, the iOS 10 lock screen changed a lot. First of all, you no longer swipe up to access the camera. You have to slide your finger from right to left just like this, and then you can access the camera view. It's actually a lot easier, and I like that change better because I miss so many pictures by just not sliding up fast enough or tapping on the wrong area of the lock screen to miss a photo opportunity. Let me know what you guys think about this view by leaving a comment down below. It basically organizes your widgets into this new view, similar, actually very similar to Control Center in iOS 9 and iOS 8, but they're here on the lock screen now, which is actually kind of a welcome change. You don't have to swipe down and stretch your finger to the top of the screen. That'll still show you notifications though. You can just swipe from left to right and see all your widgets in this view here. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the UI and the design of this just yet, but it's only iOS 10 beta 1, there were a lot of big changes, and I'm sure it will definitely be tweaked and worked out by the final release of iOS 10 in the fall. However, let's actually head to the home screen and take a look at some more changes like Control Center. Wow, I am not a fan of this change. Let me know also what you guys think about this below because I think that this looks extremely out of place. The blue toggles look kind of wonky and Night Shift just lost the fifth toggle at the bottom. It's now its own bar. It just looks really weird. What I do like, however, is that there's a new media control page if you swipe from right to left. It looks really nice and especially if you have some music playing, it looks absolutely fantastic. So I like that a lot. And then if you swipe one more from right to left, you'll see your favorite HomeKit accessories here. But overall, Control Center, not my favorite change in iOS 10. I would love to see it tweaked and maybe make it look more like it did in iOS 8 and 9 because honestly, I thought Control Center looked fine the way it was. Regardless, it's still a pretty big part of iOS 10's UI refresh and it's interesting to say the least. Now let's take a look at Notification Center, which probably changed the least out of all three. It looks like you'd expect it to look, you have your missed notifications right here, you can swipe from right to left to delete those, or you can even 3D touch on the X right here and find a handy little clear or all notifications button, which is super handy. At the top, you have a search bar or a microphone for dictation, and then when we swipe over here to the second page, you'll find your widgets that you're used to seeing. Siri app suggestions, news, the same widgets that we saw on the lock screen, and you can swipe up and down to view them. Those are three of the bigger changes in iOS 10 as far as the looks go with the lock screen changing, as well as control center and notification center. They're interesting. I really like the lock screen, but I'm not completely sold yet on the control center redesign. But of course, that's what the rest of the summer's for. iOS 10 isn't gonna come out till sometime in the fall. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button down below because it really helps the channel out. And if you wanna watch more videos about iOS 10 and other Apple-related content, hit subscribe because that's all we talk about here on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.